I'm up down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sails shaking. And a grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn breaking. I'm up down to the seas again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying. I must down to the seas again to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way and the whale's way where the wind's like a whetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover and a quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trick's over. <laughs> If I should die, think only this of me, that there's some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. There shall be in that rich earth a richer dust concealed, a dust whom England bore, shaped, made aware, gave once her flowers to love, her ways to roam. A body of England breathing English air, washed by the rivers, blessed by sons of home. And think this heart all evil shed away. A pulse in the eternal mind no less gives somewhere back the thoughts by England given. Her sights and sounds. Dreams happy as her day. And laughter learnt of friends and gentleness. In hearts at peace under an English heaven. Once when the sun of the year was beginning to fall, we stopped by a mountain pasture to say, who's cold? A little Morgan had one forefoot on the wall, the other curled at his heart. He dipped his head and snorted to us, and then he had to bolt. We heard the muffled thunder when he fled, and we saw him, or thought we saw him, dim and grey, like a shadow against the curtain of falling flakes. We said, the little fellow's afraid of the snow. He isn't winter broken. It isn't play with the little fellow at all. He's running away. I doubt if even his mother could tell him, sakes, it's only weather. He'd think she didn't know. Where is his mother? He can't be out alone. And now he comes again with a clatter of stone and mounts the wall again with whited eyes. And all his tail that isn't hair up straight. He shudders his coat as if to throw off flies. Whoever it is that leaves him out so late, when everything else has gone to stall and bin, ought to be told to go and bring him in. We were very tired, we were very merry. We had gone back and forth all night on the ferry. It was bare and bright and smelled like a stable, but we looked into a fire, we leaned across the table. We lay on the hilltop underneath the moon, and the whistles kept blowing, and the dawn came soon. We were very tired, we were very merry. We'd gone back and forth all night on the ferry, and you ate an apple, and I ate a pear. From a dozen of each we bought somewhere, and the sky went wan, and the wind came cold, and the sun rose dripping a bucket full of gold. We were very tired, we were very merry, We'd gone back and forth all night on the ferry. We hailed, good morrow, mother, to a shawl-covered head, and bought an evening paper which neither of us read. And she wept, God bless you, for the apples and the pears. And we gave her all our money but our subway fares. Piled the bodies high at Orphalis and Waterloo. Shovel them under and let me work. I am the grass. I cover all. And pile them high at Gettysburg and pile them high at Ypres and Verdun. Shovel out them under and let me work. Two years, ten years. And passengers ask the conductor, what place is this? Where are we now? I am the grass. Let me work. <laughs> 